This is the Oscars. Every year since I was about 11, I've watched the Academy Awards, and for the past several years, I've been wanting to do a similar thing with books. So if you, minus the designer dresses and hairstyles and celebrities, and substitute books for movies, this is exactly like the Oscars. I may not even have a trophy for the books that win, but I have this, so it's official. This year I've traveled with male protagonists with unpronounceable names and unintelligible accents, through mirrors, across moors, to drive-in movies, under glaciers, and even to the land of the dead. And the Oscar goes to Baby from Kristen Randall's Breaking Rank. Although with names and accents a little more manageable, this year's leading ladies also fought their battles on all fronts. Against poverty and family dysfunction, cancer, guilt, stubbornness, and even the end of the world. This year's Oscar for Best Female Character in a Leading Role goes to... Marguerite, aka Maya Angelou, from I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. Outlaws, alcoholics, condemned princes, roommates, and little brothers. These characters may not have been endearing, but they were absolutely fantastic. The Oscar for Best Male Character in a Sporting Role goes to The Colonel from John Green's Looking for Alaska. Mothers, a shapeshifter, a prehistoric preteen, and one contemporary actual teen make up the nominations for Best Female Character in a Supporting Role. And the Oscar goes to... Lindo Zhang from Amy Tan's The Joy Luck Club. Rather than talk about them, I will show you the nominations for Best Costume Design. Amy Tan's The Joy Luck Club. Isaac Asimov's The Gods Themselves. Rebecca Stead's First Light. David Starkey's Elizabeth, The Struggle for the Throne. And one I don't have with me because it is lent out, Looking for Alaska by John Green. And the Oscar goes to... Oh, my envelope is empty! That must be Looking for Alaska, the one that is lent out. In a strange and unexpected turn of events this year, nonfiction turns out to be a pretty great genre. Nominations for Best Documentary, i.e. Nonfiction Book, include Roald Dahl's Boy, Tales of a Childhood, The Writing Life by Annie Dillard, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings by Maya Angelou, and two books that I don't own, The Harmless People by Elizabeth Marshall Thomas, and Anguished English by Richard Lederer. And the Oscar goes to I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings by Maya Angelou. Beautiful writing is a lot like beautiful music, so I've also included the category of best original score, by which I mean most prettily written. And the Oscar goes to Amy Tan's The Joy Luck Club. There's always something both comforting and exciting about having a book read to you. This year I had story time with many excellent casts, as well as Elliot Hill, who might as well have been an entire cast, he could do so many distinct voices, Malcolm Gladwell, and Sir Ian McKellen, among others. My nominations for Best Sound Mixing, i.e. Best Audio Book, are David and Goliath by Malcolm Gladwell, and Read by Malcolm Gladwell, The Subtle Knife by Philip Pullman, and Read by Philip Pullman, as well as a cast, Wolf Brother by Michelle Paver, read by Ian McKellen, Half Magic by Edward Eager, and read by a cast, and Fearless by Cornelia Funka, read by er Elliot Hill. And the Oscar goes to Wolf Brother by Michelle Paver, read by Ian McKellen. And now for the great climax of the evening, the nominations for Best Novel of 2014. Looking for Alaska by John Green is about a teenager searching for the great perhaps. Philip Pullman's The Subtle Knife, which is about two almost teenagers 
trying to find their way together through a land of soul-eating specters and strange angels. Kidnapped by Robert Louis Stevenson, which is about a boy searching for his family and his fortune and finding instead friendship and himself. Breaking Rank by Kristen D. Randall. It's about a high school student fighting against all the currents. The Joy Luck Club by Amy Tan, in which Chinese immigrant mothers and their American daughters find or don't find the common ground that they stand on. And the best novel of 2014 goes to Breaking Rank by Kristen D. Randall. Well, I hope that was somewhat enjoyable. Um, I hope to do maybe a couple review videos of some of the books I talked about, especially Breaking Rank. Also, I'm sort of new on this playground, so I don't know if I'm doing this right, but I want to tag a couple people in this video. Um, firstly, I kind of want to tag myself, not actually myself, but I want to tag Amanda, who is um, the joint creator of this channel. And also Amy and Laura from Two Paper Girls, and and the Impish Grin, whose name I don't know, whose name I'm about to look up. Um, well, I can't find it, but you know your name, um, and I will find out. And I don't know, are names a thing on YouTube? Anyway, consider yourself tagged, the Impish Grin. I will put all my nominations for all the things below. Um, if you decide to do this video, feel free to add more categories too. There were a couple that I was going to do but left off. Um, I was going to do like a best short fiction category and a best um, children's book category or a best illustrated book category. <sighs> but I didn't read very many of those, so I left them off. Okay, I think I hear the music playing off the stage, so see ya, have a great day! By which I mean prettiest written. Prettiestly?